getting into teachers' good graces by one device or another is a universal ambition. In Uruguay, they try it with a shiny red pomegranate. But yeah, so I thought what we do for the first time anyone ferments, and fermenting is all about creating natural probiotics in our food, that um, I start with a really simple pomegranate ferment, which is so easy, requires lots of lovely pomegranate mm. seeds, they are um, three times the amount of antioxidants than blueberries, four times the amount of antioxidants than oranges. So coupled with um, some lovely local raw honey, um, we've got an amazing superfood that just got even better because it's been fermented. Yes, and raw honey, especially if you do choose local, has more likely to have all the pollen that, that's in your local area, so it helps with allergies and so forth too. So what, we're, what I'm going to do is finish off doing these. Um, bear in mind that the juice gets everywhere. Do you know we've been using these on our pancakes, on our gluten-free pancakes, our paleo pancakes, they go in our um, yoghurt, on our kefir, it, they're just brilliant for a bit of burst of sweetness. In fact, when I've had some salads, and you know, you just they're just a pain, aren't they, to pop out every time you want a salad. Well, they're now in the in the um, fermented jar, and they're there ready to go. Oh, brilliant. It's so much easier. So now what we do is now we've done all of that, we're just going to put it into our kilner or a ball jar as they are over here. If you're back in England, you're looking at kilner jars, which are the same thing. Okay, and you had that sterilised? Yeah, it's been hot washed and um, rinsed out well. Okay. Because what you don't want is any soap left in here yep. because it'll in most soap is antibacterial and end up killing all the good bacteria. Now so, would you do a vinegar wash or just the um, I would say vinegar wash is probably only for what you need for kombucha or anything like that. We just did a really hot wash and a really good rinse and okay. leave it to air dry. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is just pop those pomegranates into there and I am so messy. I just I just can't help it. It just goes everywhere. So I invested in this, which I think you can find at most canning shops or at some cooking shops. And basically all I'm gonna do is put all the pomegranate seeds into the jar. Oh, oh you see I've lost one. Okay, so I'm gonna get you to pour the honey. Ooh, oh. There's a um, there's no real exact science, but the idea is that you see it's just underneath the lip here. Okay. If there's too many, eat some. <laughs> okay, awesome. But that's, that should be right. Really, um, you just want like kind of a quarter cup. You want it to kind of just about cover because what it will do, the, the, juices, the juices will come out. Okay. Um, so just give it a pour. Okay. That's it, spread it round. Okay. That's about a quarter of a cup and I'd say stop. So we're just going to let that soak. What I do is everything gets a very fancy label. <laughs> oh, fancy. <laughs> so uh, let's pop the lid on. So we're going to pop the lid on. Give it a really good squeeze. We'll pop that one back oh, on there. Yes. So that. I get any and then into it. what I tend to do is um, say how long I'm going to ferment it for. Now. You can make this really alcoholic if you wanted to. You could leave this several weeks, well, probably three weeks, and it would become very alcoholic. So, um, so I, I don't want it alcoholic. So I'll say sort of three to four days. And that's how that's how long it's going to be out on the sh on the shelf for. So three to four days. So I know my fermenting time, and I've done it on Saturday. Mm -hmm. So that gives me a rough idea. Because sometimes when you've got that many things um, fermenting, that you forget what day is which. So. Uh, that's what I've just done. And then we have one already done. So can you see the difference in the liquid? Oh wow! So it's totally just—it's sort of the juices have um, the honey's brought out the juices. So you will find that when you keep shaking this, so for the first couple of days, lots of shaking, 
to, di to distribute the honey it'll eventually you'll see all that lovely liquid oh wow so that will be so nice and juicy it stays with that so you don't have to keep making sure it's going underneath the level or anything just yeah. once it's once you've it's done the, one you've done the three or four days and it just goes in the fridge it just goes in the fridge and how long will it last in the, well, in the fridge that's saying october the second so that's about three weeks but i'm sure it would last six seven weeks easily oh that's awesome a very easy for me isn't it great now i think we have to uh, let the kids try oh you want to try Delicious. that one much for sharing that with us today Becky and keep watching our YouTube channel and checking out our website which is www.planetworthliving.com and thank you so much mm. and the honey really complements that tartness of the pomegranate it does actually it gives that nice sweetness sweet and mm. almost like a sweet and sour yeah it's a, it's a great salad dressing as well oh my goodness